Honoring Pete Frades. Family, friends, and fellow classmates are gathering at his former high school to pay tribute. Christina Rex talked with his parents before that event, and she is at St. John's Prep right now. Christina? Liam, this celebration of life at St. John's is just wrapping up. We spoke to Pete Frady's parents right before it started, and they said this last week of memorial services has been both very trying for them and also healing, as they've been able to hear so many stories about Pete before ALS. And that's where we're choosing to stay as a family, is to just kind of live with the joy in our heart that we had a child that not only made a difference globally, but made a difference to people in his own life. Pete Frady's parents showing strength and the drive to continue their son's mission to find a cure for ALS, the disease that took his life just one week ago. How much it hurts as a mother to see your child suffer. And I've been watching him suffer for a long time, and I haven't heard him call my name for six years. Nancy and John Frady's are at their third memorial service for their son. This one at his high school, St. John's Prep. As hundreds line up to pay their respects, sporting Pete's baseball number, the Fradies say what keeps them going after their loss is the difference their son made for other people living with ALS. It's the proudest moment out of when you rack up all the accolades and all the wonderful milestones that Pete has received over the past five years. Nothing even comes in the same hemisphere as hearing an ALS patient who has decided to live with the disease. And Pete's dad knows because of his son, a cure for ALS will be found. We were his arms, legs, and his voice that he couldn't have. So the disease name for Lou Gehrig is really the cure is going to be found because of Pete Frady's efforts. And Pete's parents are continuing his legacy. They're asking for donations to the Frady's Family Foundation. That raises money for patients currently living with ALS to receive treatment at their homes. In Danvers, Christina Rex, CBSN Boston. Christina, thank you.